Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to become familiar with the basic principle of, of statistical thermodynamics through a very simple experiment, the tossing of four coins. Also, it'll enable us to get used to some of the, the notation of statistical thermodynamics. Notice that we use the notation k, n sub 1, n sub 2, w sub k, and p sub k, which is equal to w sub k divided by capital omega. So what do those symbols mean, and how do we use them in statistical thermodynamics? So first of all, we're going to take four coins, going to toss them up in the air, they're going to land, and there's 16 possible outcomes to that particular experiment. The 16 outcomes are notated right here. Notice they could all come up heads, they can all come up tails, or there can be some combination. So, in this case, you can see how we have kind of divided into five different groups. Each of those groups represents a macro state. And so we use K denoting the five different macro states that we can have, one, two, three, four, five. In the first macro state, all four of them come up heads, no tails. Also notice we have what we call a macro state specification, N1 and N2. N1 represents the number of the entities that come up heads, and then 2 represents the number of entities that come up tails. So in the first case, microstate 1, 4 of them come up heads, 0 come up tails. You can see the arrangement right here. So what is the thermodynamic probability? Well, there's only one what we call microstate. So these are microstates, and there's only one microstate in that microstate. The thermodynamic probability is therefore 1. And the mathematical probability, what is the total probability out of 1 that this could happen? Because with probabilities in mathematics, we usually normalize it to 1. So therefore, there's 1 out of 16 chances that they'll all come up heads. So that's the mathematical probability. We denote that with P sub K, and we divide the thermodynamic probability 1 divided by the total number of outcomes that we can have, which is called omega. So the 16 different outcomes, we can then say omega is equal to 16. And that's how we denote that. So it also is possible that three of the four coins come up heads, one of them comes up tails. So that's our second macro state right here, the macro state specification. Three come up heads, one come up tails. You can see the four different arrangements. So therefore, since there's four different arrangements, there's four micro states in this one macro state. And therefore, the thermodynamic probability is 4, indicating the four microstates that can happen. And therefore, the mathematical probability is 4 divided by 16. The next microstate is that we can have two heads and two tails. So specification N1 and 2, two heads, two tails. It's the third microstate. Notice there's a total of six microstates. So the highest microstate probability is of course this one right here. It's more likely that two will come up heads and that two will come up tails than any other arrangement. The thermodynamic probability is six. That means six out of 16 outcomes are this particular set of arrangements. Now the fourth microstate is where we have one head and three tails. Again, just like with three heads and one tail, there's four different combinations that can make that happen. Therefore, there's four microstates in that particular macrostate. Therefore, thermodynamic probability is four, and then the mathematical probability is four out of 16 outcomes. And finally, the last macrostate is when we have zero heads and four tails. There's only one way we can, in which we can get that. So therefore, there's only one thermodynamic probability, and the mathematical probability is one out of 16. So there's a really good example of how we can implement that on a large scale as well. Now in this case, we can say there's two states, heads and tails. There's equal probability of getting heads and tails, and these are all the 16 different outcomes. We can then classify them in certain arrangements, which then become macro states. If we don't care which comes up heads or tails, all we care about is how many heads and how many tails. That defines macro state. If we care about which of the coins has heads and which of the coins has tails, then we can subdivide that into what we call micro states. And so you can see we have one, four, six, four, and one micro states for these five macro states. And hopefully that will make clear what the difference is between a microstate and a macrostate and how we use the notation to implement that. And eventually we're going to use that over a large implementation of numbers. So we'll deal with many, many entities and the same principles will hold through there as well.